Hey everybody, it's Steve from MaddenPlay.com. Uh, as you know, the Madden 12 demo came out today, and uh, I wanted to give it a quick review. Uh, I only got to play it for about an hour and a half to two hours, um, you know. But I did one last year. I just wanted to give my first impression, you know, just real quick, and uh, let you all know what I think so far. Uh, last year's Madden, I, I, if any of you saw my video before, you saw that I had a major problem with it. Uh, the demo, as far you know, as as far as the demo goes, um, bad tackling, bad whatever. I think I gave it like a two or three out of ten. Um, you know, I was really disappointed in it. I was really scared for the game, and it actually turned out to be you know right to be scared for the game because it was not very good for the first month and a half, two months till they they did all the patches. Um, but as far as this game goes, um, it kind of sucks to have to say this, but. Uh, you know, it wasn't everything I hoped it would be. Uh, it was better than last year's game, uh, or last year's demo. Uh, but that's not saying a lot because there's a lot of room to be better. <laughs> um, as far as this game goes, my main two problems were the fact that uh, first, last year, they, they sped up the game so much, and I think I said in that video, that it was just inviting people to cheese and to cheat and to nano blitz and the rocket catching and everything. It just it was it was too fast from Madden 10. Madden 10 was really slow. I thought maybe if they met in the middle of Madden 10, Madden 11, that would be perfect. This Madden they even made it faster. And I really am not looking forward to seeing what people in ranked games are going to be doing. But as far as you know the speed goes, I think they need to put it down. Um, you know, it's just my opinion about that. I think it invites people to really cheese and really go after those glitches because they're harder to see. When the game's slower, even if you do those glitches, those nanos and stuff like that, you have time to react. The other person does. And that's what I don't get with this game. Uh, the other thing I don't like is is the gameplay graphics. Now, I'm saying this, I'm trying to separate the two. They have the show, which is the pre-game, after the game, you know, between the plays, that's all real good. Like, those graphics are nice. You can see the stitching in the backs of the jerseys. You know, that's different. That's good. The actual game graphics, the tackling at least, it, it kind of seems arcade-ish. What I mean is, like, I felt like I was almost playing uh, NFL Blitz a little bit. Just, just the way things were tackled. You know, people were were moving this fast, and then when they when they got hit, it would it would just rock it. Uh, people were bouncing all over the place. Um, you know, it just didn't look as real as it normally does. Uh, you know, I never see anybody running at a certain speed, and then all of a sudden their tackle is that fast. You know, <laughs> they're just flying out of the picture. Uh, it looked like. Uh, it looked like Aaron Rodgers was Michael Vick. Same thing with with uh, Cutler. They just looked like their acceleration was like 120, and you know, instead of whatever it is. But you know, that was you know, it's kind of disappointing to me to see that the graphics were kind of like that. I felt like I was playing an arcade game. Um, the good things, uh, like I said, those graphics, uh, the pregame and stuff like that. Uh, the kick meter was better. I like the kick meter. I think it's going to allow some mistake. Uh, it's not too slow, not too fast. It, I liked it. A lot of people that I was playing with, they didn't really like it all that much. You know, it might be a preference thing. Um, God, they didn't learn their lesson from last year. You now, last year, they screwed around with all the audibles and the hot routes and stuff like that pre snap. And they did it again this year. You know, last year, they had to give a patch to us so then we could. Uh, go inside of our options and change it back to the old way. They're going to have to do it again because this year they, they make us press uh, on the on the D-pad, you know, either up for offensive and then down for defensive. I don't even know why they don't have just, you know, press it up for offense or offense and defense. I mean, it's different for both. So it just seems retarded to me. Um, that's going to have to be fixed. Um, you know, other than that, you know, it was alright. It was difficult to play with those two teams. Um, I don't know why they chose the Bears, you know. You know, give all credit to the Bears fans, you guys are great, but 
you know, as far as Madden teams go, to play against the Packers in this game, it just was ridiculous. Uh, I used the Packers, I won. I used the Bears, I got creamed. I think Ryan Grant ran for 250 yards against me, you know? I mean, literally. Uh, it's just not fair. The, the Packers defensive line is just, just bulls over the, the Chicago O-line. You don't even have a chance to throw. Okay, that's whatever. But, um, so hopefully when you get to use your own teams, it'll turn out better. You know, this all might, I might be really discouraged because I can't use my teams. I can't do what I want to do. Um, you know, because I'm a very situational type of player. I like to set up my rosters and my depth chart and everything. And this doesn't allow you to set up your depth chart. Um, you know, so it's whatever. Uh, so maybe when I get to do that, I'll like it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, as far as the game goes, uh, I think this, this demo, I give a five, you know, five out of 10. Uh, it has room for improvement. It's definitely better than last year's demo. Um, I still can't wait for the new one. You know, I wish they gave us updated rosters for these two teams. I mean, it's only two teams. They could have given us updated rosters, but you know, they got Daniel Manning out on that team. They got, you know, they didn't change anything. Olsen's still on the team, but you know what can you do? You know, it, it's just you know for someone that likes to see all the all the rankings and stuff like that, it's a little disappointing to see you know someone not on the team. But um, but yeah, I mean that's really all I got for this game. I will be doing a, a, another video probably once the real game comes out. But as far as this goes, five out of ten. Um, yeah, if you want to have more discussion about the game, uh, you could always go to MaddenPlay.com. I will be opening up a thread so we could talk about what we think about the game. Uh, I really invite a lot of people to come talk to us. Uh, it's well worth joining. It's free. And uh, if you play online franchises, uh, if you sign up, you get access to the, on the online franchise area. It's members only. You can see all the draft classes so you know who you're about to pick up in the rookie drafts. So uh, hopefully that's a, a little bit enticing for you. And... Um, yeah, I hope to see you there. We need guys to write, so go in there, write whatever you want about football. Uh, someone will be talking to you. <laughs> All right, hope I didn't take up too much time. And, uh, yeah, it's Steve from MaddenPlay.com. Talk to you later.